Hello, my name is Oliver and I'm eight years old. I'm here to interview Commander James Riley about his three space missions. I really, really, really love space and I can't wait to ask him some questions. It's lovely to meet you. What shall I call you, please? Oh, call me Jim or JR. Okay. If a child went into space, would their rate of growth speed up, slow down, or stay the same? That's an interesting question. We don't know because we haven't had any children in space. But they might actually appear to be taller because we don't have gravity pulling us down like it does here on the ground. My head teacher, Mr. Bailey, would like to know, what would you do if you saw an alien? Well, it depends on how you define an alien. <laughs> now, in reality, when you look at the numbers of stars, I'd say the odds are pretty good that there, there is other life besides just us somewhere out there in the cosmos. In fact, we may find it on some place like Mars when, when we send humans there. So, in fact, that might be a job you might want to take on. How do you wash your hair in space? Ah, that's a good question. And that's actually one of the things that we miss the most because we can't take showers in space, right? So where does the water go? It goes everywhere, right? So that's actually a bit of a problem. If you had put it in your hand, then you put your hand over it, then you could trap it instead of floating up, then you could actually wash your hair and wash your hands. So I could take my water dispenser, put it actually right on your head, and let the water just kind of soak into your hair, now, of course, we don't use shampoos like we use here because that's actually a fairly strong soap. And so we use a, a milder soap so it doesn't clean your hair as well as shampoos will here on, on Earth. And so one of the first things we really enjoy doing when we get home is to want to get a hot shower and then and wash your hair with real shampoo. How long does it take to put a spacesuit on? We have different spacesuits. One is that really big white one that we do the spacewalks in. That one actually takes uh, almost two hours. But what happens if you need the toilet when you're in the middle of doing a spacewalk? What would you do if you were in a car? You just find somewhere and then get out and go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one's not an option for us, so actually you pretty much have to hold it. However, here's a little secret that only you and I will know. And that is inside that suit, uh, we actually wear what would be a diaper or a nappy, I guess you'd call them here, right? So uh, we actually wear those. It's because there's not like a pizza place on the moon where you can just stop off. And no, you can't go running into the, into the gentleman's facilities. Just like when you go on a road trip in, in the car, you know, your mom tells you to go to the restroom before you go. Yeah, that's, well, before we go do a spacewalk, we make sure we go do a... What would it be like if I came to visit the Kennedy Space Center? Actually, you know what you can see is that, the, see that spacecraft right there? That's Atlantis. That was, uh, that was my ride into space on two missions. And Atlantis is on display there. And so you can see Atlantis is only, we saw Atlantis in space. Uh, and then we also have something called the shuttle launch experience. And so you can get a feel for what it was like to actually sit in the spacecraft, feel the rumble, and the only real big difference is that when you release your seatbelt at the end of the ride, you stand up and walk out. Now we floated out. Now you got to think about, okay, how do I get back down? And right. um, we're going to do the quick fire round questions, so okay. you have to answer quite quickly. Quite quickly, okay. Quite. What is your favorite food? My favorite food in space. Uh, my one that I liked the most was uh, cream of mushroom soup. Which one do you like better, cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. I have two dogs. What is your favorite TV show? Uh, is one actually that's that's uh, about here in the UK. It's called Downton Abbey. If you could go back to one point in time, when would it be? The Big Bang. I'd like to see what that actually looked like. If you were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, who would be your phone friend? My phone friend, uh, Stephen Hawking. If you could have flown any NASA spaceship, which would it have been? It's still the shuttle. Uh, it's a remarkable machine. Thank you very much. It's been really brilliant. Thank you. My pleasure, Oliver. Thank you for coming to see us today. Thank you. I've just finished my interview and it was absolutely amazing. That's all for now. Thank you.